Okay, so for this demo here, we're going to take the same two ionic compounds that we used for our flame test. I have copper 2 sulfate on the left hand side here, strontium chloride on the right hand side. Instead of sticking it directly into a Bunsen burner for combustion here, this time we're actually going to use methanol as a fuel source. Methanol is an alcohol, it's also very flammable, so I want to be really careful with this one here. Methanol starts off as a liquid, so I'm going to add a little bit of methanol here. Methanol is going to uh, just start burning first, and then as some of those compounds start getting atomized and vaporized into the air, uh, we'll see what happens with these two samples. So I just have a match uh, on the far side here. We can light the two. Here we go. One. At first, what you're seeing, uh, the hints of blue, is actually just the methanol itself catching fire. And some of those ionic compounds afterwards uh, also start getting atomized and ionized here. Uh, copper ions give off a really um, uh, bright uh, green color here. And we have the strontium ions similarly here, um, emitting a nice uh, reddish tone. Firework engineers can play around with which chemicals burn when and actually design um, it to uh, look very spectacular in the night sky. But pretty much that's all it is. Uh, every chemical will have a very unique emission spectra, give off a very unique color. Uh, if you happen to know what that color is, you can actually use that to identify which compound is which.